Crude oil prices continue their wild ride. A pipeline association president says the industry is at a critical point, and the Vatican's going green. All this and more in today's Energy Scout News. Hello, and welcome back to Energy Scout News and Information. I'm Reb Byers. The crude oil roller coaster continues. Prices have seesawed this week as investors waited to see if lawmakers would approve a $700 billion financial bailout. Increased supplies show the Americans are using less oil that drove prices down. Prices did recover somewhat on hopes that a measure was close to passing as the Senate approved its own version of the bill. In other news, Donald Trump isn't pleased with the markets right now, but he does see a silver lining. Oil should be falling hard and fast. Nothing. It's about time. And there's nothing OPEC can do about it. And they're taking tremendous losses like everybody else. And I love the fact that it's almost a cleansing action. People are moving all around in ConocoPhillips, including right to the top. Chief Financial Officer John Kerrig is now president. He has taken over day-to-day -day operations from CEO Jim Mulva. Now, the move is one of several top-level changes within the company. No announcement has been made, but many analysts say the CEO is likely to retire in the next few years. And still to come, the Vatican has seen the light of a different kind. But first, a look at today's mergers and acquisitions. Pilot Corporation plans to buy Marathon Oil's interest in Pilot Travel Centers for $700 million. Pengrowth Energy has completed its acquisition of Accrete Energy and formed Argosi Energy. And finally, Sempra Energy has purchased Energy South for $510 million. Canadian Energy Pipeline Association President Brenda Kenny said the industry is nearing a critical point. Just keeping up with demand will require a doubling of capacity in the next 15 years. She said North America is facing a once-in-a-generation opportunity to build essential pipeline infrastructure in both Canada and the United States. Chesapeake Energy has signed a 10-year agreement to ship 375 million cubic feet of natural gas from Arkansas through a new 187-mile pipeline system. The 42-inch Fayetteville Express pipeline will be constructed by Kinder Morgan Energy Partners and Energy Transfer Partners. Chesapeake expects the pipeline to begin service by early 2011. Turning to exploration, it appears Petrobras isn't the only one making discoveries in Brazil. United States-based Anadarko Petroleum and Devon Energy announced an oil field off the coast in the Campos Basin. The well is located at the Wahoo Prospect in about 4,600 feet of water. It's 25 miles southeast of Petrobras's giant Ubarte Field. And now, a quick review of today's People on the Move. Miller Petroleum has named Paul W. Boyd as its new chief financial officer. Jayhawk Energy has appointed Thomas Ryman to its management team as chief financial officer. And Mansoor Anjum has resigned as chief financial officer of Pyramid Petroleum, although he remains on the board of directors. Schlumberger expects the twin punch of Hurricanes Ike and Gustav to eat into its third quarter earnings by four to six cents a share. On the positive side, the company said increased global exploration bodes well for a long-term business. Precision drilling is a step closer to buying Grey Wolf. United States regulators gave the $2 billion deal a green light when the Federal Trade Commission allowed an earlier end to the waiting period. But the deal is still subject to other approvals, including that of Grey Wolf shareholders. And on the alternative energy front, Pope Benedict XVI is going green. He's the first pontiff to harness solar power for the Vatican. Roof tiles on the Paul VI Auditorium are being replaced with 2,700 solar panels. The photovoltaic cells will generate enough power to light, heat, or cool the 6,000-seat hall. For more information on these stories and more, check out our news section on our site. And if you have any news to share from around the energy industry, you can email us at news at energyscout.com. As always, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow.